And now it's my honor uh, to introduce our great chair of the uh, Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, Susan Domene. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Chair Aguilar and Vice Chair Alou. Um, it's great to be here. And under our new leadership team, House Democrats are united. We've been united around addressing the real issues that are impacting American families. Um, when I talk to people back in my home state of Washington and as I travel around the country, um, folks want to see us focus on creating jobs, on lowering costs, and on standing up for their fundamental freedoms. And on the first point, I think we can just look at the recent job numbers. Um, 209,000 jobs were created in June. That's over 13 million since President Biden took office, 4 million more than pre-pandemic. On costs, the Inflation Reduction Act is already, already lowering health insurance, prescription drug, and energy bills for millions of Americans. Today, as Vice Chair Liu just mentioned, today we saw annual inflation has fallen each of the last 12 months and is now down to 3%. Um, and we know we can do more and we have a proven plan. House Democrats are united around uh, my proposal along with Congresswoman DeLauro and Torres to bring back monthly tax child credit payments and rebuild the middle class. Meanwhile, Republicans are yet again trying to pass hundreds of billions in tax handouts to the wealthy and the well-connected. This failed, proven to fail, trickle-down approach doesn't help everyday Americans and would blow a massive hole in the deficit. Finally, Republicans continue to chip away at reproductive rights. In nearly every Republican appropriations bill, there's a provision limiting abortion access. We're seeing this play out in the NDAA debate as well. As Leader Jeffries says so well, they have no vision, no plan, and no agenda to actually help people. They've wasted weeks simply trying to gain control of the extremist members of their party, and this week already seems to be no exception. Um, Republican chaos also puts us on a fast track to a shutdown. So Americans want governance to work. As I've talked to folks across here, they want to see governance work. Um, Democrats proved last Congress that it can. Um, meanwhile, Republicans continue to demonstrate that they can't govern. So we're going to continue highlighting these contrasting visions so Americans know who's working for them. Thank you. I'll turn it back to the chairman.